it's review time! And today, this is going to be a very special uh, review time video. I'm going to be splitting this into two parts. One video is just going to explain the story of this movie, and then a second video I'm going to upload uh, at the same time as this video is basically going to explain the spoilers for this movie, because a lot of you probably have not seen this movie yet when it came out, so... Warning ahead for the spoilers video, if anyone who's not watching, you can just completely skip that video. But this video will also um, will be on YouTube, so it'll have both the spoiler and the final thoughts and everything, so you get the idea. Anyway, for today's video, we're going to be covering the new 2023 horror movie. Uh, give me one second. There we go. Cobweb. And with that, let's jump the story, or let's get the story right out of the way. So, the story of Cobweb follows a young boy named Peter living with his two parents in a house in a small suburb neighborhood. And Peter is recurrently hearing noises in the walls and hearing things from the walls, supposedly making him think there is a person inside the walls that is trying to tell him something. Though his parents play it off as a nightmare that he's just having, Something more sinister and twisted is happening in this. And that's all I can say for the story, but we're going to cut this video right here, post it, and I will do a second part right after this video. So, sit, uh, sit tight. Alright, welcome to part two of this video on my review on Cobweb from 2023. And like I said, this also is going to be the spoiler section of the video, so... Spoiler warnings ahead for you all. Now, sadly, these are only going to be two spoilers because, again, I probably should have mentioned that this movie was about an hour and 28 minutes. Feel like it could have been longer. I'll say that for my final thoughts. But anyway, here comes the first spoiler. So, yeah, the parents in the movie, yeah, they are kind of like lying to their kid. So, supposedly, they actually originally had two children. One was their boy, Peter, and another was a girl that they had, but the movie never really does give us her name. I mean, I think it's written on a teddy bear that she had in the movie, but it's it's kind of worn out, so you can't really read what the name says. Anyway, she basically did something on Halloween that supposedly got her locked up inside the house. Yeah, these parents are a little crazy, but they did it for a reason. Supposedly, she ended up killing a girl on Halloween, so they basically locked her up inside of the house she first was in a cage she got out of that then she got into a pit then she got out of that and they basically locked her up into the wall inside the walls of the house but she learned basically how to climb and how to like bite and everything basically learning how to bite from the rats and everything and all that and particularly peter finds this out pretty quickly and straight up kills his parents with the particular uh, set of rat poison that his dad showed off to help get rid of the rats, basically. That surprisingly so smelled like cinnamon. Though, to be fair, that was a big mistake from Peter. And because of that mistake of killing his parents, i.e. his dad also, who, by the way, is played by Homelander from The Boys. Yeah, shocking, really. Anyway, after killing his parents, he does let his sister out. Though she's not the little girl we've basically heard. She is this grotesque monster. Apparently there was a story that said that like she was born with some kind of deformity that made her head large. And she grew giant teeth from learning how to bite from the rats. Oh yeah, and there's uh, spiders making nests in her long, long hair. And she's surprisingly good at killing people. Off screen, because yeah, there's a couple of bullies that come to Peter's house... They get killed by her, and basically the movie ends with Peter and the substitute teacher that was supposedly come to save him, locking her back in the basement, or the pit. But she goes in this whole monologue like, if you leave, I'll still somehow find you. To be fair, though, I don't know how she broke out the first time of the pit, but not sure if that's going to be a possibility, so that's kind of a lie there, I think. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is my spoiler video and review of Cobweb from 2023. Honestly, despite some things that may be messed up in it, I feel like the visual effects could have been done a little better on the creature. The way she moves is just way too fast. And I feel like the ending could have been done a little bit better. Something like that. Honestly, this might be a top contender for my favorite movie of 2023. Honestly, it's got really good atmosphere. The visuals are really great for the setting. 
the cast actually did a pretty amazing job. Surprisingly, the little boy was very convincing as just this little kid that's thinking his parents are evil and he's trying to get rid of them to save his supposed sister that he has. Other than those like minor nitpicks I have about the ending and the visual effects, one thing I do want to say, I love the creature make the makeup effects for the creature in this, or supposedly the girl, which she's called. So yeah, this is definitely my top contender for favorite movie, favorite horror movie of 2023. So I'm definitely giving this a 10 out of 10. I definitely recommend you guys go watch this movie in theaters. Again, sorry for the too heavy spoilers, but the twist in this, it was just really well done, and I loved it. 